with three points apiece. Shane Jablonka, some six notches behind with 797. So the top three spots are up for grabs in this feature event. Here we come on a turn number four. We go racing this time. Well, trouble with Rowe in the middle of the speedway, and that's causing vibrations right through the pack. Well, he gets himself set up right now and pulls away, but too late. Yellow lights have already been put on the speedway. Caution light has been turned out around the speedway. We get set to go. Green flag racing still yet to crown a champion. Here we come at a turn number four. Kelly and Kroc up there in the number one and two spot. Boniface down to the inside. He'll make it three wide. Keep an eye on Kenny Boniface Jr. Now he'll lose a couple of spots off at turn number two. Oh, trouble. Four wide down the back stretch. And in the midst of it all, there's a car sideways in turn number two. Bernie Singer, the 99. This track, LJ, has got to be awful racy tonight to see four wide down the back stretch. I'll tell you what, it's uh, a vision from years past when we had four wide racing all the time. Some of these guys, they know what's up. Three's got an outside shot, just six or seven points behind. So three drivers you really want to keep an eye on as the caution light has been turned on around the speedway. Still looking for the original restart. 20 laps the distance here for the dirt car sportsman. We get set to go from mild to wild. Here they come off a of turn number four. Green flag flies. We go back to racing. Here we come on a turn number four. Yes, we are back to racing it already. Three wide, almost four wide at the drop of the green flag. Of course, that was in a safe zone. They could do that. Now it's going to be the cake poker 19 car. Tyler McKee on around the rim shot of the ball. He picks up two spots down the back straight away right now. Tyler McKee drops into spot number three. They were three, four, one as they headed down into turn number one. They're still three wide over there in turn number three. We are staying green, clean and green as they work off a of turn number four. Croc still your race leader. Danny Croc up there in the number one spot. Here comes the hurricane change of block and Gary Edwards and Brian Crumble. They're Spellman down in the middle. They're going to go three wide down the back straightaway. Spellman Edwards get together. Wow, I'll tell you what. Sparks are flying inside and outside the car. Edwards, it was almost ugly for him. Shot down to the inside of Spellman. Spellman's in trouble. He will come to a rest down there between turns three and four. And yellow, yellow, yellow in the speedway. Well, if things were to end right now, Timmy, it would be Brian Crummel picking up yet another track championship. Or the Speedway, many wins and a big block modifying. I do believe he has a couple in small blocks. Caution light has been turned out around the Speedway. We get set to go. Green flag racing. Here we come at a turn number four. Back to green flag racing, and it's the K3 at Danny Kroc. He'll lead the way off at turn number four. Boniface now with a run on him down at turn number one. Kenny Boniface Jr. down the inside of the speedway. Picked up the number two spot on the drop of the green flag. Put Skelly back to spot number three. Vanessa, you've been doing a great job all night long, as is the 19 of Tyler McKee. McKee moves into the number four spot. Vanessa, fifth, and here comes Edwards. Edwards slingshot shoehorn down to the inside of the speedway. Wants to make a break into the top five running order. He will do so this time. So they got a turn number four. Crumble right now. He has the point championship in his hands. But Gary Edwards Jr. back there just behind him. Just a few spots. If Edwards would have fin finished there, I do believe he would lose the championship by just one point. But still your race leader is Danny Kronk. Up there in the number one spot. Edwards up to the outside. He's looking for the outside shot around Brian Crumble. He's going to do so down the front straightaway. This is your point championship deciding move right here. Crumble and Edwards side by side. Edwards got the one point upper hand on Crumble. And Edwards is going to make a run for the dog license down the back straightaway. Crumble center lines it down the back stretch. Only gives him that much racing space. Says if we're going to do it, I'm going to make you do it the hard way. Now Crumble gets locked up behind. The 19 car works out of turn number four. 
four, but Tobel still has the upper hand. Got one falling to the wayside up there in turn number four right now. It looks like Anthony Perego maybe as the battle is on for the championship. Crumble and the yellow flag will fly. Anthony Perego in trouble over there in turn number four. He started the slow on the back straightaway. He's got a right front sneaker, according to Dr. Danny Johnson, has lost oxygen. So he was trying to get it off the racing surface, couldn't get it done, so he dropped the yellow. In the restart zone, we get set to go back to green flag racing, keep an eye on Jablanca, now making his way back up through the field. We get the green flags, they come off at turn number four. Bottom face now, up to the outside, and the show. Boniface now up there in the number one spot. Well, they go racing for the championship again. Tumble on to the outside of Barrier, but here comes Edwards down the back straightaway. It's going to be Cromwell to make the move down to the inside for spot number five. Cromwell locked on to the inside. Now Edwards got to navigate a different line of action coming out of turn number four this time. He's got Barrier between himself and Cromwell to deal with down the home straightaway. Yellow, yellow, yellow in the speedway. Problems with Dion Naples. Lots of smoke, and the car slows down. Tough break after they worked. Also, very hard to get that car back together. You remember the destruction that that car endured uh, two Saturday nights ago. They brought the very same car back. I thought they'd bring the red car back after all that uh, damage they had on it. But now his night comes to a close some 14 laps earlier than he had hoped it to. And I'm not quite sure if he'll even make it back behind pit wall of his own power. And we'll send uh, some assistance out there to help do that. Anthony Perego now also making his way back out onto the speedway. Caution light has been turned out around the speedway and Rosa two six laps are in the books. Here we come at a turn number four in the restart zone. Green flag will race. Boniface, Croc, they'll battle it out for the number one spot as they come down the front straightaway. Boniface on the outside, Croc down to the inside. Here comes BK Speed. Brian, come up to the outside, and we're going to get the yellow flag. Oh, yellow flies again. We'll let you know why. <laughs> Matt Janiak in trouble. The 17 machine, he now goes behind the pit wall. So Janiak down behind pit wall. Again, yellow flies. No additional laps have been scored. Six laps still etched in stone. Well, back to the original starting spot. They were a quarter of a lap ago, as no additional laps have been scored. Matt Janiak, of course, the exception to that rule as he comes back out from pit wall. He'll have to rejoin the tail side of the field. Caution lines turned out. The best racing is still yet to come in this feature event. Watch your top four rows. Here they come at a turn number four. Green flag will fly. Brian Crubble again takes over the number three spot down at turn number one. Gary Edwards Jr. now in trouble for Skelly. This is not going to oh, be pretty. No. Oh, yikes. Well, after having such a great night on the speedway, Skelly will now endure a lot of damage in that car as the freight train was rolling right there behind him. R.J. Smickla also involved deep into the tail side of Skelly's car. Bernie Singer pulls away under his own power. Got a championship here tonight. That's the battle right now, and of course Gary Edwards one point ahead. If they were to finish this way, Crummel would be the two-time defending track champion here at the Speedway. Caution light has been turned out. We get set to go back to green flag racing in the restart zone. Here they come at a turn number four. 
Steele works down on a turn number three and four this time. Green flag in hand. We go back to green flag. Dirt Car Sports in excitement. Bobby uh, Danny Gronk on the tail side right now. Picks up the number one spot. The drop to the green. Bottom face down on the inside. They'll fight it nose and tail for the number one spot. Venezia. He's back there in the number three spot. He's got BK speed right there in the shadow. Then followed by Ferrier and Edwards and Jablonka down through turns three and four. Shane Jablonka from the back of the pack all the way back up to the front of the field. The man who is on a mission here tonight in the Rock Fantasy 44 X-Star. Second generation driver. He's now down to the inside of Gary Edwards. Jablonka looking to go top five racing. And it's Brian Crummel hanging on to spot number four, but he's got some fast chargers coming up through the field. Well, top three guys in points all battling within three spots of each other. They work down through three and four this time. The race within the race continues for the biggest trophy from the banquet. Here we come, down the straightaway. Top two drivers with just about a half a car length space between them. Uh, Edwards again now down to the inside of Ferrier. He'll pull into one spot behind Brian Crummel. That would give Edwards the championship. Of course, only one point separates them after Edwards won the heat race here this evening. There's Jablonka now trying to follow suit right behind Gary Edwards. We stay clean and greed off of turn number four. Down the most straight away again. Nobody steps out of line. Venezia third, BJ Speed fourth, Barrier fifth. Now Jablonka and Edwards Jr. go at it. Edwards takes the upper hand on things. Let's put John Ladini into the mix now to make things exciting. Down the back straightaway. It's going to be Edwards on the upper hand between the Edwards to Blanc of match race. As we get the halfway sign this time by Brian Crummel. Right now, the man with the big trophy as he hangs on to the number four spot. He's in battles with Frank Venezia. Fifth right now is the 11E e of Johnny Ferrier. Edwards back there in spot number six right now. He's got to get around Ferrier to take the championship. Crummel down to the inside. Here comes Bobby Henschel now moving in just outside the top five. Henschel, a man on a mission, long time since he sat the buttocks in that pile of sheet metal as he works down the back straight away. Solid top 10 run of the field right now, just like he never left home. Still clean and green, nine laps to go right now, and Brian Crumble's the man with the championship trophy in his back pocket. She's trying to get around Frank Venezia because Edwards needs to get around Ferrier, and then, of course, there's Shane Jablonka. Jablonka now down to the inside of Gary Edwards with a nice run down there in turn number three. He's going to rebound with a rapid heartbeat right now on the inside of the fairgrounds on a turn number four. Jablonka pitches the sheet metal down to the inside and gets by Gary Edwards now. Oh, trouble with BK Speed in turn number two. Brian Crumble hit the inside jersey barrier in his championship hopes may have just gone away oh what a heartbreaker spots in front of gary edwards jr to clinch the title doesn't quite look like that could happen but hey in eight laps we've seen worse uh-oh somebody's out of line here we come at a turn number four back to green flag racing jablanca has to pick up four spots, take the win, and beat Edwards by four positions down the back straightaway. Championship just outside his grasp right now. Edwards back there in spot number six. The problem is, LJ, when you're inside that race car, you can't do all those computations in your head without a Texas implement, and you just think you got to get by them no matter what happens. Edwards just switched lanes and yellow. Of course, these guys don't have radio contact with their pit crews. There is nobody back there to do the map. Strapped in that race car. It's just, oh, you got to finish ahead of that guy in front of you. There's no two ways about it. That creates some very tense moments. Well, you stay pretty calm until there's about two laps to go, and then that's when you start to panic, and that, uh, that voice in your head starts making uh, little thoughts that, you know, maybe... Well, the caution light is out around the Speedway. Keep in mind, an extra $100 courtesy of the DeGroat family to tonight's Sportsman feature winner. And uh, Danny Kroc doing a great job up there in the number one spot. Kenny Boniface second, Venezia Ferrier, and then it's Edwards and Jablanca. The battle is on. Here they come at a turn number four, seven laps away from crowding a 2011 track champion here at the Dirt Car Sportsman. Back to green flag racing action. Gronk on the strong side of things down the home straightaway. Here comes. It's going to be a slingshot move to the inside. Boniface tried to put a nose down to the inside, but Gronk was yelling, what? No, you don't. Out of turn number two, grab back the number one spot. Put a two-car link jump between them down the back straightaway. Danny Kronk still leads the way off at turn number four. Boniface back there in spot number two. Kronk had the rest of the lead away from Boniface just a few short laps ago. Here's Boniface down to the inside. He'll go challenging for the number one spot. 
Edwards, wow. Venezia get together over there in turn number two and now we got to go yellow. We thought for a second there we could actually keep them clean and green, but then three more cars come into the backside, and that's what now brought out the yellow flag. Matt Janiak. The line has been turned out. Here we come at a turn number four for the Amateur Pure Stock. Feature event, they go racing side by side for the number one spot. Cock will lead the way down at turn number one. Here comes John Ferrier. Drunk down to the inside, kind of leaned a little bit that time on to that number one place. Man, out of turn number two, it's going to be Boniface to grab the number one spot, quickly move away from Kronk, Kronk back to the number two spot. Now Ferrier is third in the action. It's going to be Gary Edwards Jr. in the number four spot. Then Jablanca hovers around back there in spot number five. Eight wheels are better than four for John Ferrier as he slid down to the inside of Kronk, moved them up out of the way, now moves into the number two spot. Here comes Gary, baby mover if there ever was one. Down the back straight away as Jablanca slung shot out of turn number two, put himself two notches into the number three spot. Jablanca sitting back there in spot number three. Edwards stuck on the outside of John Lodini as they go racing off in turn number two down the back straightaway. Danny Kronk, Gary Edwards, they'll do battle, but still your race leader right now is the show, Ken Boniface Jr. As he comes off at turn number four. About three laps to go right now for Boniface. Well, time's a waste in speedy, and they're both driving like... Uh, Drivers possessed out there to try and grab the every notch they can in the go. Oh, wow, was that close for Edwards? That could have been U G L E E. No two ways about it. And with the exception, of course, of the Pro Stocks, with Mike Ducker coming in with such a strong uh, uh, stronghold on the championship. But every other division, it was settled in the last half of the feature event. Coming so, back to green flag racing. LJ, here we go. There we go. Out of turn number four, Jablanca's got to win. Edwards has to finish second, and he'll retain the uh, championship. The green flag flies. Boniface down to the inside. Jablanca now moves into spot number two. He's going to go hunt to head. Oh, oh big baby. trouble. Oh. Caution light has been turned on around the speedway. Three laps away. Jablanca's got to win. Edwards needs to be second. We got three laps to go. Here we come at a turn number four. Edwards with a nice run down to the inside. Boniface up there in the number one spot. We go green flag racing. My only concern is 11 cars out of 24 starters. Will we have any cars left by the uh, 20th lap? Working back on the speedway right now in the number one spot is Ken Boniface Jr. Then... Uh, the whole wheel gets turned upside down behind them. It's going to be Jablanca down the back straight away with Edwards right there in the limelight. Those two guys will go at it before the checker flag flies. Popsicle sticks getting set to fly two more times around right now for the show. Ken Boniface Jr. Shane Jablanca back there in spot number two right now. He needs to pick up one more position for the championship. Edwards, well, set it on cruise control because he's got it locked up right now as they hit down the back straight away. Wick fly getting set to fly. White flag coming out of the speedway. Bought a face with a big smile on his mug right now, not because he's the winner, but because the feature is finally over as he works out of turn number two and down the back. Bought a face junior. Second spot is Shane Jablanca. Third spot, your point champion by three points, the 21 junior of Gary Edwards Jr. Fourth spot is the number six L of... John Lodini in fifth, the 27 car of Andy Reeves. Well, down here for the first time in his career as a track champion, Gary, I'll tell you, a very nerve-wracking feature event for you guys, but you got the job done. Yeah, you ain't kidding. I hope it was exciting for you guys as it was for us because uh, we were, I tell you, us, us three guys, uh, the 44s, uh, we were all over driving. We were driving as hard as, you know, giving everything we got. Um, those guys deserve to be here just as much as I do. Um, it was definitely, a, it was definitely a, a fun, competitive, good year. This is what it's all about coming down to the last race. I hope, hope everybody enjoyed it.
Gary, right out of the barrel, you guys were just top notch. You guys came out here and you won the feature event. Do you think that your modified experience really helped you out here? You had to take a step down this year because of the economy and the way everything is. Do you think that modified experience really helped you out here in this division? It sure didn't hurt, I can tell you that. <laughs> Hammer down. Gary, I'm sure there's a lot of people you got to thank. Been here many, many years. You've never taken the big trophy home, so I'm sure there's a lot of people you got to thank for finally getting you here to the championship season. Yeah, I, I'd like to thank the whole crew for uh, for a long, tough season. And, um, you know, my dad, um, you know, we're here, Dad. <laughs> we, we made a piece of history. Um, I want to thank uh, Kenny Laba for, uh, for coming on towards the end of the year and helping us out. Um, um, I, did, I want to thank everybody involved. Uh, ECS, East Coast Speed has been helping me out all year. Um, thanks, everybody. Thank you, fans. I uh, love you guys. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He's your dirt car sportsman champion for 2011. It's Gary Edwards, Jr.